You know, I don't do a lot of AEW Dynamite reviews. I normally do, like, when AEW has their, like, special TV show specials, like um, Beach Break and Winter is Coming. But after tonight, man, AEW probably put on the best, like, their best show of the year so far, in my opinion. Um, I don't know how the other shows are going to be like this up and coming year. But so far, I think this has been the best show of the year. And, and that's just my personal opinion. Like, I have so much to talk about. And we're going to get right into it. But I got to say something. Um, there have been rumors. And it's really starting to circulate now. Um, NXT is apparently moving to Tuesday night starting in April. And you guys know me. I even put out a video talking about how, oh, like, NXT needs to move. They need to end this war I mean, come on, it wasn't a war to begin with. So if it's true, thank God NXT is moving away from Wednesdays. Like, let them be their own separate brands. Stop giving me this idea that there's a war. And let's just enjoy the two products together. But I'm not here tonight to do complaining. I'm here tonight to do some praising. Because tonight, man, oh man, this was a really good episode of AEW Dynamite. I mean, from start... To finish, I was, I was just, I was, I was in, I was in shock. I was in shock. So I want to give the AEW crew people a, um, just an entire, um, round of applause, man, because that was round of applause, because that was really good. Um, just an amazing from start to finish, and this show actually like went by pretty fast too. So we're going to kick it off, man. We got Cody Rhodes and Red Velvet taking on Shaq and Jay Cargill. And, man, I know a lot of people were like, and including me, was like, I don't know about Shaq. I don't know what they're going to do with him. Shaq's old. But, man, Shaq really impressed me tonight. I mean, he, he and he just didn't impress me. He impressed everybody, like wrestling fans, like don't get me wrong. I had a huge respect for Shaq because Shaq was one of you know one of the best basketball players of all time. You know, really good, dominant during his time with the Lakers, and plus he won uh, with Miami back in '06. My favorite team, the Miami Heat basketball. But um, yeah, man, like Shaq, man, really impressed me tonight. My like my respect for Shaq just went up. Like I, again, I had respect for Shaq, but it really went up tonight because Shaq did something that. Not that many, a lot of celebrities, like, would do. Like, that man literally took a fucking bump. Yeah, I dropped an F-bomb. A bump. That man went through not one, but two freaking tables. That's that's mad respect. And the crazy thing is, the All-Star game, the NBA All-Star game, is in four days. So, who knows, man? Is Shaq going to sell it? He, he probably is. But, uh, you know, Charles and... Uh, uh, Kenny Smith, and, you know, they're going to be clobbering him, roasting him and stuff like that. Can't wait to see that on the All-Star break. Um, well, the All-Star game, I'm sorry. Um, the All-Star game. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, good match, man. Um, Red Velvet, and I know she lost, but Red Velvet, man, really looked like a winner in this match. She looked really good. I was actually watching this match with my sister and my mom. And my mom, she hasn't, she's not a, like a huge wrestling fan. But she knows who Shaq is, so she watched this match with us. And, man, she was really impressed by the Red Velvet Girl. And I was telling her that the Red Velvet Girl was really cool. And uh, the Jade Cargill Girl, and for her, this being her first AW match, she's really good. So hopefully we continue to see more of those two women because they really impressed uh, my mom and I. And, if, you know, if you can impress my parents, then you're a winner in my book. Um... Anyways, man, so after that, we get a quick little, well, this is a really short match. Um, Ray, Ray Phoenix, Pop, John Steiker, D, D3, this is just a quick one for Ray Phoenix and Pop. Um, also, what happened, we got a, oh, this was another good segment here. We had the MJF and Chris Jericho press conference to hype up their match against the Young Bucks at AEW Revolution. This was a really good segment. Um, you had... Um, Conrad Thompson, who is like known as the godfather of wrestling podcasts, like, and just to side note here, like when you be going on YouTube and you be watching those wrestling podcasts, 
Um, Conrad is on like almost everyone. He's with 83 Weeks. He literally does his own show with Kurt Angle. Um, he did a show with, uh, he even did something to wrestle with, with Bruce Pritchard. So like that man is on a lot of wrestling podcasts. Um, Eric Bischoff shows up. He's back and he's better than ever as always. Um, but then Matt and Nick come out, man, the Young Bucks, and man, this was a fiery promo for Matt, like, just praising his dad, talking about how his dad just taught them everything he needed to be, and they took shots, they took, he was taking some shots at, uh, MJF and Jericho, he was telling MJF that, you know, without AEW, you would probably be sitting in home, um, waiting for another phone call, where his parents' home, waiting for another phone call from the Rosie O'Donnell, which for those who don't know, it, when MGF was a kid, he used to be on the Rosie O'Donnell uh, show, for those who didn't know. Um, good singer, too. MG, well, we obviously know MGF is a good singer. And uh, <laughs> now this was, a, this was a funny one, too. Uh, Matt told Jericho that he would likely be jerking the curtain at the performance center. So Matt just taking the shots and just firing them. Like, so it's all good, you know. I mean, yeah, it was a shot, but come on, like, you know, I don't know. And if WWE did it, you know, come on, like, let's have some fun, people. It's professional wrestling. Come on, it's not that big of a deal. Well, if it gets too out of hand, but I don't want to get into it. This is a good promo. Um, Good good segment um, to hype up their match. We get a recap video. We get, I can't pronounce his name, but it was Atusha Onita. Um, and he was on tonight. He was talking about the death matches, giving us more update. You know, he, he fought, you know, one or two death matches. He fought Terry Funk in Exploding Bar Wire death match. So, you know, he just feels appropriate that it's a good stipulation. Uh, especially for Kenny and uh, Moxie because they've been one of the biggest robbers in AW since its existence. All right, so we get FTR and Tully Blanchard with JJ Dillon versus Jurassic Express. Um, good win for FTR and Tully. It was very awesome seeing Tully Blanchard just beat the heck out of Marco. Yes, I am not a huge fan of Marco. Sorry, Marco fans. Good singer, but I don't care about him in the ring. So the good see, so good to see Tully, and Tully really looked good tonight. So good on Tully's part. Um, but at the end of the match, who makes his return? It's Sean Spears. Yeah, that's right. Everybody thought Sean left, but he didn't. Um, he's still here. And we saw Arn come out, flashing the four. You know what that means. Four horsemen, people. And hey, Cody, Cody turned heel. Remember Cody just a few months ago, he was teasing um, the four, the four horsemen group. So who knows? Cody joins, turns heel. We get another heel stable. We get another version of the four horsemen. If they book it right, I got no problem with it. But if they book it wrong, well, they probably won't. But you know what I'm saying. All right. So we get another segment, um, with Tony Schiavone. He's talking with his new broadcast partner, Paul Wright. Paul Wright got a new t-shirt talking about no more BS, which I guess means no more bullshit or no more big show, something like that. Uh, <laughs> Paul was talking about how, uh, he, who saw this turn coming, you know, so <laughs> just a nice little plug. Um, he's talking about his passion to be in AW, and he also says that this Sunday at Revolution, a huge Hall of Fame talent has been signed. So another Hall of Fame are going to be signed, and a lot of people have been saying that it's Kurt Angle. For some reason, people have been saying Brock Lesnar, CM Punk, who knows? It, it could be anybody. Hell, it could be God. God can make his comeback, his Hall of Fame return um, to AEW Revolution. So who knows? It could be anybody. All right, so we get the AEW Women's World Championship Elimination Tournament Finals. Nyla Rose taking on Rio Mizumami. Sorry if I mispronounced that. My apology, folks. And Nyla lost. This is a pretty good matchup, though. Um, Ryo, Rio, well, the, the she won, so Nyla didn't win. I know a lot of people, and even me, were kind of pissed off when she beat Thunder Rosa. And Britt Baker, like, I was saying in the tournament, like, bro, like, you had a chance to put the title on Britt. Why are you not putting the title on Britt? Like, what? Come on. And don't give me the shit saying, you need to wait. Bro, Britt is ready. She is, she has been a great heel. A great heel to take the title off of Karshita. 
All right, after that, um, we get one member of the Acclaim taking on, um, is that negative 10? Is that his name? Um, yeah, yeah, it's 10 taking on Max Caster. Um, and Scorpio Sky was sounding very hillish tonight. So, yeah. Um, Max Caster gets the win, though. And then we get the main event, Hangman, Adam Page, and John Silver versus Matt Hardy and Mark Quinn. Pretty good. Pretty good, solid uh, main event. And, you know, guys, I'm going to say this right now before I end this because I'm already 10 minutes in. Um, this is how you do a paper, a home, I mean, a, a go-home show. Um, I've said it before, man. Like, I, and I don't want to, like, crash WWE, but, like, because I don't want to make it all about WWE. But, like, if you notice, like, WWE home home shows... Again, I've said it, like, with your go-home shows, it's your last opportunity to bring in your fans, to hype up your fans for the big show. And AEW did a really good job tonight. Like, this was a really good, amazing home go-home show. And um, I really enjoyed it. That's why I'm doing this review. I was actually going to do an AEW Revolution uh, review. I mean, uh, predictions, but that will come out tomorrow. Um, I'm glad you guys tuned in. Um, this has been DC Wrestling. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Tell me what were your comments. I mean, your thoughts on the Shaq match. What were your thoughts? Oh, and I forgot to mention one more thing. We had a Sting segment. Good God, I forgot. Sting. Uh, Sting came out. Great segment. But um, anyways, guys, like I said, this is a great episode of AEW Dynamite. I thought it was pretty good. Really great. Um, again, probably the best Dynamite show of the year. And uh, one more thing, because... Since I'm mentioning WWE now, apparently a lot of people are saying that uh, Shaq's debut uh, or his match was better than Pat McAfee's. Like, come on, like, you really got to do comparisons? Come on, people. Jesus Christ. Anyways, that's it, y'all. Subscribe, like, comment. Thanks. And so, um, yeah.